Well, hello everyone. Today is Lunch and Learn. My name is Keith Armour. I'm the Education Homework Support Manager at the Main Library downtown in the Adult Learning Center. We're on the first floor of the North Building, usually. Now we're all, of course, uh, working a lot of different ways. And one of the ways that the library is going to reach out to you is through our Lunch and Learn. And so today, if you have any questions, of course, you could hit um, you can see our email address right there, ALC, which stands for the Adult Learning Center at CincinnatiLibrary.org. We do a variety of different things down there at the main library. One thing that we definitely do is we help with people that are trying to get their GED or their high set or their task. Um, also, basic English, basic math, uh, basic language arts. And we do exam proctoring when we usually are open. Now we're doing some virtual things for you right now. So let's get into our presentation because today what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the high school equivalency and that's the HSE. And the HSE, a lot of times uh, when people think of HSE, they're wondering what that is. That seems to be a new term. Uh, but we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because there's a, a, a couple of new options for you uh, when you're trying to get your high school equivalency. We're going to do some online resources, obviously, because that's where we are right now. A lot of study materials, a lot of practice exams. And the thing to remember, it's free, free, free with your library card. Now, if some of you don't have a library card, that's perfectly fine. All you have to do is call that number right there, 369-6913, and uh, library staff in our virtual information center, which has not closed down whatsoever during this entire pandemic, they will uh, take your information and make sure you get a library card so you can access all of this great free information. Um, so let's move on. We are going to focus on one of our online resources, which is Help Now. A lot of you probably already know that Help Now provides uh, free homework assistance, uh, skill building for all of you um, parents that are and caregivers that are now um, the, your child's teacher. Uh, that's a great resource. Live tutors uh, seven days a week from two until eleven, um, seven days a week. So we're but we're going to actually work on uh, the section that's for adult learners. Okay, so. A lot of times people say, uh, they'll call us up down at the Adult Learning Center and say, I, I want help um, to earn my GED. I would like to be able to take some practice tests. And they might be calling for themselves. They also might be calling for a loved one. And uh, that's perfectly fine. That's great to be a real support for someone who is trying to get their high school equivalency diploma. But actually, back in September of 2016, the state of Ohio actually approved a couple of other avenues, a couple of other companies that would help you achieve um, your uh, high school equivalency. And that is the high set, uh, the task, and then, of course, a continuation of the GED. So we're going to take a closer look at all three of those, and kind of give you an idea of um, what the differences are and why you should go with one or the other. It's really your choice, but I'm going to switch screens right here, switch programs. We're going to go right here to our public website. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. All right. Now, this is our public website, and obviously it is at CincinnatiLibrary.org. And all you have to do is, here we go. All you have to do is come up here to the search um, bar and type in HSE, not H-E-S, H-S-E, there we go. And then to this site, we're going to switch that button to this button, and then we're going to hit search. Hit search. What comes up first on the long list is the Ohio High School Equivalency Test. So we click that, and one of my colleagues at the library um, put together this information. Katie did a great job putting all of this information. 
A lot of it came from the Ohio Department of Education, which manages these, um, these exams. Um, and so you'll see a lot of information here about the GED and about the high set and the task. And each one of these will take you directly to that company. So then you can actually see um, and get more information about what um, each one um, can do for you. And then we have another resource. We're gonna use help now today, but we do have another resource that you can use that's totally free through the library's eBranch, and that's the Testing and Education Reference Center. Um, and then Ohio also has developed a couple of new programs for anyone who's 22 and older that they can get their diploma as well. And we have put together a, a wonderful list of these are community partners that are absolutely outstanding. Um, they might currently not be able to help, but I guarantee you in the future, um, they are probably helping some right at this moment, um, but they definitely are a good re resource as you go along and try to figure out how to achieve your high school equivalency. But we're gonna go back up here to the second paragraph. And you'll notice right here, it says GED, high set and task. We're gonna click here. And this is gonna give us a side-by-side -side comparison. And we'll make sure that we give you a direct link um, to this document too, but that's where you, found, you find it. Now, as you can see, you see the document that's up in front of us now. And you've got three different companies. You've got the GED company, you've got the high set, and then in the last column, you have the task. Now, each one is going to be a little different when you want to get your high school equivalency. And it's not just one test. You've got these section subjects. So you would have to take all of these tests right here in the GED to pass the GED. Same thing with the high set over here, and then of course with the task. Now they're a little bit different, and that's why we created this paper for you to kind of really give a good look at how different each one of these are. Um, let's go, um, let's just go right down here to, since we're down at the subjects, uh, subjects, let's look. So GD is reasoning through language arts and mathematical um, reasoning and science and social studies. That seems straightforward. And then you've got the high set and the task, and they do it a little bit differently. They both have reading, but then they have writing with an essay. Well, GD does not have an essay. So if you're not really wild about writing, uh, you might want to pick the GD for that reason. Now, there will be some writing for the GD, but they're going to do it in short answer or extended response. So kind of like a paragraph instead of writing an entire essay like you would with the high set or the task. And then, of course, you have the math. And um, this is where it's a little different when it comes to the high set and the task. The math for the high set, you use, you can use a calculator for the entire math section. And then for the task, you actually are using the calculator for the first half of the math test. And then you can you, you don't have the calculator to help you out for the second part. And then um, all three do have a science and a social studies component as well. But you want to take all of the tests in one of these categories. So you kind of have to pick your horse and decide which one's going to take you to the finish line. A couple of other things to consider. At the very top, it co goes over the amounts, uh, how much it costs to actually pay for each one of these um, tests. So you want to keep that in mind. There are some options for some retesting for free. And um, I work at the library and we love the word free. Um, so that is really helpful as well. This is just the name of the providers for the GED, for the high set and the task. Now this is where another big difference comes in and it's the way that you take the test. And back in 2014, uh, when GED changed, they went all the way to a computer-based test. That means everything that you're going to do on the test is actually going to be on a computer. 
You'll take the math, you'll take the science, the social studies, the reasoning through language arts, through the computer. And sometimes people are a little apprehensive about doing that. Now, you have no paper pencil um, option for GED. For the high set and the task, you do have a paper. You can do it paper and pencil. You could do all of these subsections or these areas, subjects, on paper pencil for both the task and for the high set. You can also do the computer based. You can do all of these computer based and all of these computer based. Or what I like is the combination. Um, both of the high set and the task will give you a combination. So if you want to go ahead and take the reading on the computer, that's perfect. Um, if you want to take the writing, you can do the essay with paper and pencil and you can switch it up each time. Now, a lot of times people will say, hey, can I, okay, well, I like that idea. I like the idea that I can go ahead and take uh, one of the tests. Uh, I can take the high set. Oh, I'll take the, the reading here, but then I'll go over here and take the GED. Nope, you can't do that. You can't mix and match between the three companies. You have to take all of these subsection tests in GED or all the high set or all the tasks. And the reason being is this bottom, this bottom row right here. Each one does there a little bit differently. So you want to make sure that you, you pick the horse that you like. Now, the thing I want to point out is, oh, and all, both, all three of them are in English and in Spanish, so there is some options there. But this is the thing I want to highlight right here, if I can possibly do it. There it is. All of them, if you pass all of these tests in GED, you will get your high school equivalency diploma. Same thing with tasks, same thing with, the, uh, with, uh, uh, with high set. So that is a comparison sheet and you can find it on our website. I'm gonna go back and you'll find, um, we type in HSE here, we hit search, then we find this, it comes up. And then the second thing that will happen is you'll find it right here for click here and you'll see that side by side comparison. Now, that's great information. And if you're trying to figure out what you wanna do, sometimes before you start plucking down some money and taking some tests or trying to figure out where, where should I study first? What subject should I study first? Well, that's where your library card comes in. We're going to go up to what's called our e-branch, our electronic branch. And the fourth one down is called e-learning. So we're going to click on e-learning. And all of these are some future uh, lunch and learns right there. Um, these are all our opportunities, some professional development, some personal enrichment, some homework assistance, all of this right here. But we're going to focus today on BrainFuse help now. So I'm going to click there. The first thing you'll notice that comes up is actually your, uh, you have to put in your, and I'm going to click that real quick so you don't see my library card. That's perfectly fine. Now, remember, if you don't have a library card, you just call our number, 369-6913, and we'll get you a library card. So this is the site for um, any student from kindergarten all the way up college or parents that might need some help uh, trying to figure out some of their child's homework. Um, and that's the live tutoring, the writing lab, the skill surfer is excellent. I highly recommend you do that. And then the flash bulb is all sorts of flashcards. But today we're gonna focus all the way over here to adult learners. So we're gonna click on adult, adult learners and it's gonna open up. And, and I love what they write right here. And this is very much um, how our department, my department is at the main library. And it's the welcome the lifelong learner, whether you're going back to school, switching jobs, or just wanna brush on your academic skill, our adult learning center is here to help. And that's, we're here to help still. 
Um, we're doing still some, some wonderful things in my department and the library overall. And, and here's an opportunity to um, uh, get some more information about high school equivalency um, preparation. Uh, we will in the future go over the live tutoring, the skills, uh, the writing lab and the test center over here. But today we're gonna work on the high school equivalency preparation. So we click on this and I wanna stop right at this moment and just make sure that we're logged in. So we're gonna come up here in this bar and at the very end, we're gonna click log in. And you'll notice that I'm gonna put in my, my username and my password, but I'm gonna show you the sign up. It's really easy to sign up. All you have to do is come up with a, a username and the password doesn't have to be really um, extensive. Um, you know, how many people are gonna to try to steal your identity to take a test? I don't know, but you don't have to really make a real elaborate password. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password lunch oh, lunch and learn be nice if i knew how to spell there we go and click here and hit login and there we are i'm going to save that for future use and now we're going to go back to the high school equivalency preparation all right, we just have a few more minutes. So I wanna show you how to get into the meat of this program. We got the study materials right here. And if we click on that, what's gonna happen is they've divided it up right here. So you've got the official GED site here, the official uh, site for high set, and then the official site down here for task. So that's another way that you can get more information, especially more specific information. So you can really take a look inside the GED here. You can take a real good preview of the high set there. Um, but these sites, all these links will take you out of the library and go directly there as well. And if you're planning on a trip to Canada and maybe moving there, we even have the GED Canada on there for you too. Uh, let's go back to. We're gonna go back one, there we go. Now, number two, it says get ready for the test day. Uh, we talked uh, just a few minutes ago about how much each one of those tests costs. And sometimes people don't know where they should start. Um, so taking some of these practice tests are very, very helpful. And look, when I open up this uh, drop down menu, how opens up, and look, there are all the practice tests for GED. There's all the practice tests for high set, and there's all the practice tests for task. And all you have to do is select one. And when people come into the Adult Learning Center downtown, when we're usually open, um, we always suggest, what's your, what's your best subject? What is your best subject? And if your best subject is uh, math, Go for it. Take that as a practice test first. Um, but if it's not, I would suggest always take your favorite subject first. And one of my favorite subjects, of course, is social studies. So I'm going to click Task Social Studies. And I'm going to hit Enter, take a test. And you'll notice I've um, already selected some in the last couple of days. And I've got GD reasoning, math. Uh, this is language arts here. This is the task, social studies. And I had already done that before. And then here's the high set social studies. So let me click on high set social studies. And you'll notice another window pops up. There we go, there's that other window. And of course I can make it larger by just clicking here but then it's not gonna make it too much larger, but you'll notice that for the high set, when it comes to social studies, they're gonna give you some reading selections, and then you're gonna to have to answer a question. So this is all about the Truman Doctrine, and so I went ahead and already answered the question for C, and then I just moved to the next question. And now you're thinking, oh wait, uh, am I gonna have to remember that entire reading selection? Because um, this next question has to do with that Truman Doctrine. 
Well, now all you have to do is read the question and then it's all about trying to make sure the fall of Greece and Turkey communism would cause another surrounding nations to fall. Ooh, what's that described as? I can click right here and right there. There's the whole, that's the whole reading that I have to go through. And you'll notice there is the domino theory. And that's the answer to, well, at least I hope that's the answer to the question. And I just click out. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that you can't move this window. See, I can't kind of move this window around, but I can easily click out, answer the question. Or if you're like me and kind of forget things, you can always click back. And there it is again. Read the entire document, go back, and there you have it. Okay? Now, all I have to do is hit back. And if I want to be finished with this, I just click out. And I can create as many of these tests as possible. And I can retake these practice exams over and over again if I like. Um, the thing to remember is that you want to make sure you create a login. And then you want to select the practice test that you want to study. And as soon as you are finished with that practice test and you feel very confident that you know, number one, how it's done, and number two, how to actually um, pluck your money down, because we'll have that on the original website, which the SSHSE website, um, you can find exactly where you can take those official tests, because these are not official, these are practice. But you want to practice before you uh, pluck the money down. Um, now, if you're starting to have some issues with a particular area, and math is usually the one that everyone has some issues with, what you want to do is just go over here to the live tutoring and say, I'm doing the mathematical reasoning right here. I want to go ahead and I want to um, choose to get a live tutor. And they're going to know, that live tutor is going to know that I need some additional help with mathematical reasoning. So I click on live tutor. Now we're going to get a message right now that says that, well, live tutoring is not open because we open from 2 until 11 at night. That's perfectly fine. We'll come back. So that's another feature of the Adult Learning Center online is that you have study materials you can take it take as many practice tests as you possibly want to take take and take them multiple times and then of course you can also get some live help on specific questions as well so i'm going to click back to my original sheet once again let me go back just to help you out remember E branches here, go all the way down to e learning. And then once it opens up, your brain fuse help now. Okay. Let me go. Back. So we took a closer look. We we're using the adult learning center online, and that provides you with a HSE. Um, uh, information on the high set and the task and the GED. And that is through Help Now, but for adult learners. And then in the future, um, of future Lunch and Learns, my colleague Lois will be doing the next one. And we're going to be using um, two websites. We're going to be using BrainFuse Job Now. And we're also going to be doing the Adult Learning Center again. She's going to go over resumes next Tuesday at noon. So please, you know, if you need any help with a resume or if you know anyone who needs help, um, this is an excellent resource to develop your own. And it's really free. It is not one of those that you type in, uh, you type something in one of the search engines and that says free resumes. No, that's not it. Um, this really is a free resume help. So we're gonna help you do that. And then of course we have citizenship with me next Thursday. Um, learn how to become a US citizen. If you're not or know someone that wants to be a citizen, then job interviews and then Microsoft help and career resources. 
Um, as I finish, I want to remind you that um, the library is there here for you. We are doing a lot of virtual programming, our story time. I watched an excellent story time last night uh, with Eric Davis um, from Clifton, and he did a great job. Um, but we're also going to provide these lunch and learns as well. So um, that's our, our email address. Um, Adult Learning Center, ALC, at CincinnatiLibrary.org. Um, there's the other resource that's there um, online, the Testing and Education Reference Center. That is something that if you need help, um, also for the HSE, it's, it's available for you. And then we have some other exercises for HSE, um, all the, the different subjects. If you're interested, email us. And then we are continuing to do our um, English as a second language, uh, English speakers of other languages, conversational groups. And that is going on right now too through Zoom. And so if you want additional information on how you can join that, um, let me know. All right. Um, let me see. Austin is checking the questions. Let's see. Do we have any questions, Austin, right at this moment? Okay. If you don't have any questions, that's perfectly fine. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a good day and keep safe.